Welcome to the ultimate guide to skyrocket your financial IQ in 14 simple steps. Imagine the world of finance as a vast ocean. Your financial IQ, that's your compass, your map, your trusted ship guiding you through the waves. It's a crucial tool for navigating your financial journey. In this video, we're going to share 14 actionable steps to boost that financial IQ, so you can chart a course to financial success. So buckle up and let's dive right into our first point. First on our list, get your hands on some financial books. Reading is a powerful tool to increase your financial IQ. It can help you understand complex financial concepts, develop successful strategies, and avoid common financial pitfalls. Books like Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki and The Millionaire Next Door by Thomas J. Stanley are excellent starting points. They provide insights into wealth creation and management from different perspectives. Remember, knowledge is power, so start flipping those pages. Next, we're moving to the digital world with online courses and financial news. Picture this, it's like having a financial guru at your fingertips, anytime, anywhere. Online courses offer a treasure trove of knowledge, from the basics of personal finance to advanced investment strategies. Many are free or quite affordable, and you can learn at your own pace. They are like your personal finance class, but without the boring professor. On the other hand, Staying updated with financial news gives you a real-time understanding of the market. It's like reading the financial world's pulse. Sources like CNBC, Bloomberg, and financial newspapers are your daily dose of economic trends and market developments. It's essential, like your morning cup of coffee, but instead of caffeine, you're getting a jolt of financial wisdom. And while you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Our next two points take us into the realm of audio and video content. You see, financial wisdom isn't confined to the written word. Podcasts, for instance, are a goldmine of financial insights. Shows like The Dave Ramsey Show or Planet Money by NPR offer valuable advice on money matters, often in a lighthearted and digestible format. You can listen to them while commuting, working out, or even cooking dinner. On the other hand, educational videos offer a more visual learning experience. Platforms like YouTube are brimming with channels that break down complex financial concepts into engaging, easy-to-understand videos. Channels like Khan Academy or Investopedia cover a wide range of topics from basic budgeting to complex investment strategies. So whether you're an auditory learner who thrives on podcasts or a visual learner who prefers videos, there's a wealth of knowledge waiting for you. So start tuning into some podcasts and exploring YouTube. Moving on, let's talk about investment clubs and taxes. You see, joining an investment club can be a game changer. It's like being in a book club, but instead of novels, you're diving into stocks and bonds. These clubs provide a platform to learn from others, share investment strategies, and even pool resources for joint investments. It's a fantastic way to grow your financial knowledge while building a network of like-minded individuals. Now let's not forget about taxes. They may not be the most exciting topic, but understanding tax laws and strategies is crucial. How you handle your taxes can significantly affect your net worth. You need to familiarize yourself with tax-efficient investing and financial planning. A basic understanding of tax codes can make a huge difference in your long-term financial health. So, find a club that suits you and start understanding those tax codes. Trust me, your future self will thank you. Next. We're delving into three fundamental aspects of financial IQ. Firstly, let's talk about tracking expenses. It's like being a detective, but instead of solving crimes, you're solving the mystery of where your money goes. You might discover that your morning coffee habit is costing you more than you think, or that you're spending an exorbitant amount on subscriptions you forgot you had. To track expenses, you can use apps or go old school with a pen and notebook. Whichever method you choose, the important thing is to record every penny spent. It's all about gaining a clear understanding of your spending habits. Secondly, let's chat about setting financial goals. Consider this as your financial roadmap. These goals, whether short-term like saving for a vacation or long-term like planning for retirement, will guide your financial decisions. It's not enough to say, I want to be rich. Be specific. How much do you want to save? By when? Having clear, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound goals will help you stay on track. Now on to the third aspect, diversifying investments. Think of it as not putting all your eggs in one basket. It's about spreading your investments across different asset classes like stocks, bonds, or real estate to manage risk effectively. 
Remember, each asset class reacts differently to market conditions. When one goes down, another might go up. Diversification won't guarantee profits or protect against loss in declining markets, but it can help you achieve a more favorable risk-reward trade-off. In summary, tracking expenses helps you understand your spending habits, setting clear and specific financial goals, guides your financial decisions, and diversifying your investments can help manage risk. These three aspects are crucial in boosting your financial IQ. And before we move on, we'd appreciate it if you could click on the like button. Now, it's time to tackle risk and the stock market. Understanding different types of investment risks and investing in stocks is a fundamental step in boosting your financial IQ. Let's start with risk. It's a term that often sends shivers down the spines of new investors. But fear not my friends because risk is not always a beast to be tamed, but rather a companion on your investment journey. There are several types of investment risks you should familiarize yourself with. Market risk for instance is the possibility of an investor experiencing losses due to factors that affect the overall performance of the financial markets. Then we have credit risk, which is the possibility that a borrower will default on any type of debt by failing to make required payments. And let's not forget inflation risk, the chance that the cash flows from an investment won't be worth as much in the future because of changes in purchasing power due to inflation. To manage these risks, diversification is your best friend. Spreading your investments across a variety of assets can help to reduce exposure to any single risk. A well-diversified portfolio is like a well-balanced meal, providing you with the necessary nutrients to maintain a healthy financial life. Now let's delve into the world of stocks. The stock market can seem like a daunting labyrinth for beginners, but with the right knowledge, it can become a fruitful playground. Investing in stocks allows you to become a part owner of a company, sharing in its successes and failures. Starting with stock investing doesn't have to be complicated. Begin with companies you understand and products you use daily. Virtual trading platforms are also great tools to practice without risking real money. Remember the stock market is not a get-rich-quick scheme, but a vessel for long-term wealth creation. Patience and consistency are the keys to unlocking its potential. Remember, understanding risk and the stock market is key to boosting your financial IQ. Our final point is perhaps the most important one, save and invest regularly. It's like the heartbeat of financial wellness, consistent, steady, and vital. But how does one cultivate this habit? Well, it starts with understanding that not every dollar you earn is meant to be spent. Consider setting aside a portion of your income to save and invest before you even start spending. Think of it as paying yourself first. This amount could be as small as 10% of your income or as large as 50% depending on your financial goals and circumstances. Next, automate it. Set up automatic transfers to your savings or investment account. This way, you're less likely to skip or forget. Lastly, be patient. Remember wealth isn't built in a day. It's the result of regular deposits and smart investments over time. So, start saving and investing today to see your financial IQ soar. That brings us to the end of our guide on boosting your financial IQ. We've journeyed through reading financial books, taking online courses, following financial news, and even joining investment clubs. We've discussed the importance of understanding taxes, tracking expenses, setting financial goals, and diversifying investments. We've also covered familiarizing yourself with investment risks and the practice of regular saving and investing. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to watch the other video showing up on the screen now and remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel.